Good afternoon. Well, here we are again at our lovely home by the sea. It seems that either another swarm has moved in, not where I cut out before, which is empty. As I've, I've double checked that a couple of weeks ago, nothing there. But at the other end of the window. And to get in, it seems like they're crawling right from the roof all the way down that post inside and in here. I've listened all the way along and it's quiet at that end, getting more and more and more bees at this end. So I'm hoping that it's just going to be in this area but I shall uh, basically explore all the way along just to be sure for the householder. Uh, it's January the 23rd, 2015, down here in Victor Harbour, in Counter Bay. Um, and the homeowners are uh, getting a little concerned with the number of bees. Um, this is only a couple of days worth, which is nothing really compared to what there was downstairs at the height. But it doesn't do to have uh, bees around when you're walking around barefoot. So. I'll take a couple of panels out today. I'm not exactly dressed for it. I was just passing and thought I'd uh, pop in. And we shall see how it goes. I'll update you if I find anything. Well, folks, there we have it. The second complete hive. Excuse the angle of the camera, I'm on my side peering along behind the actual wallboard. Not a huge amount of bees, but uh, we'll see how it goes on. Well, there's certainly happy foraging signs of cap tony at the top. And they're not flying out to attack me, which is nice. So I might um, take the other board off and see what size of job I've got. And come back with the appropriate gear. If the girls get out here, they can't get out of the room anyway. They'll just be following the sun out. Might as well be sensible here and come back with the right kit. This fr this um, area is empty. That has five, six, maybe seven full combs in it, so they've been there a little while. There's not many bees, but there's enough for me to be cautious with, as um basically shorts t-shirt. And, uh, and it's a, m a muggy, humid day, so they're not going to be in the best of moods. So I'll come back with the proper kit tomorrow, which is Thursday the 22nd of January, and relocate them, see, what's, see what I can find inside. This may be just a second generation of bees since I removed the ones from the other end of the bedroom wall. So a quick tidy up and I'll leave it at that. That's where the little blight is getting in, right here, top of that corner part of the window. Crawling all the way down to underneath the window sill. Just in that area there. Right, this time I'll try and film it not in macro mode as I did the last aquaponics update which is not not clever. Right, back here at the house with a lovely view to get into this side to do a full cutout and a nice Friday evening. All the girls should be at home. I haven't seen any any coming in, so they should be back. 
so much sunset. So I've got mini nuke, frames ready, some string to wrap them in. If need be, I've got my bee vacuum set up as well, but we shouldn't need that because there, there weren't many bees when I last looked in, but that was during the daytime. So I'm going to take this panel off very gently because there's some combs stuck to it and go from there. little collection. They've been busy, a little bit of honey. Excellent girls. Can I see any brood? Not yet anyway. Nice honey too. First bite of the day. Uh -huh. Take you for a bit of a closer look. Not a bad sized nest. Hive, whatever. Five blades. Approximately half full of honey on the outside. Let's see how they are before I suit up. May not need it. May need it. No, sorry. We must have a little bit of room to manoeuvre. Gentle puff. Let's see how we get on. Ah, wax them off. So, they're not that strong. But not too bad. Scrap comb down. Simply because I don't want to contaminate any of that nice looking honey. Uh, laden. Laden with moss. No brood at all. Very confused. Hmm. Hello, hello. G'day Mark, how are you? Oh, you're smoking. Yeah. You're just smoking. <laughs> oh yeah, we're yeah. still Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But not for long. <laughs> oh look, there's a hive. Yeah. Well that's been there a while too, hasn't and it? And that was its own completely separate yeah. hive. Well look at that. So I'm just gently removing it and then getting out of your way. <laughs> Hasn't been a viable hive for no. quite a while. Okay. You see this frondy mess yeah, down the yeah, bottom? Yeah, yeah. That's it's what's nasty. called wax moth. And a strong hive will just 
get them, get them through their grubs, they get um, what the moths lay eggs, oh, okay. they hatch into yeah. the grubs, the grubs eat the comb. Yeah, okay. And make a complete mess of everything. Oh, done that, yes. Yes, they do. Exactly. But my chickens love them. <laughs> they just like little, oh, really? little grubs. Oh, okay. But, uh, or not so little grubs. Hardly any bees in there at all. No brood at all. All I'm really doing is robbing it. Such a pretty taste, even though it's mostly honey. Or oh, not bother. There's absolutely no brood. Nothing. Not even a sausage. And in reality, not that many bees either. But they have been working hard. Not many girls. Move to its half, I'll give it a really good clean out. A bit down there. But what I might do is just call it a day and unfortunately the girls won't survive. Yeah, I torch. up there but they're not don't seem to be around the corner a lot of dead beasts and there was a big load of wax moth in there no absolutely no grubs no larvae no eggs just bees in there honey oh, I shall get them out there was no eggs no larvae no brood no yeah. queen yeah just a few hundred girls and leftovers. So it was a dying hive. It was a dying hive anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So all I do is um, clean up everything and we'll sim simply vacuum them out. And uh, it just wasn't it just wasn't a viable hive. Yeah. But it still had the ants getting in, the wax moth getting in, and they just um, go as far as they can. Yeah. So clean up and get out your way. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. No problem. Well, just had a, a sting on the temple, so it's not not recommended. So, pop the suit on and just uh, 
a little bit of protection. Of course, I've just made all these girls' helmets. Okay, pretty much empty. Taking a lot of the wax off, I'll scrip some more off. Excuse that. Let's try this again. Temperamental torch. There's a, a might be a handful of bees left. Just around the corner here. I can't get at them. I've liberally sprayed some honey bee gone in the timbers around here. So hopefully that'll deter them. I haven't gone anywhere else. This is a, a standalone hive, completely separate to one that was in the other corner. Right, as it's evening now, they're going to be all. At, they were all at home pretty much. Just the odd straggler bee outside that I'll be liberating. I haven't saved any bees from this one. There was just not enough. Not enough. But the, there was a bit of honey left over and some wax moth grubs for my chickens. No grub, no larvae, no eggs, no queen. So it was a dying colony anyway. So it was, it was good to get it out of the way. Right. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Um, and another episode in the life of Mark from Rose Herbs and Honey. Yay. Down here in, uh, in County Bay, Victor Harbour. South Australia, the 23rd of January, just before us, Australia, long weekend, and I'm ready to relax for the weekend now. Right, thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.